WHO guidelines for treatment of malaria just come out. What's important about these guidelines? Um, the WHO guidelines for the treatment of malaria, the second edition which I'm holding up here, sets the global policies for the diagnosis and treatment of malaria. Malaria remains a leading disease that causes a great deal of morbidity and mortality, and one of the key interventions for dealing with this is diagnosis and treatment, and this guideline sets the global policy. What's new in this document? This document is um, an add-on to the first edition that was published in 2006, and since then we've had more evidence. What's new specifically in these guidelines have been the addition of a new um, artemisinin combination therapy drug and also um, a recommendation that all cases should be confirmed before treatment. Um, how, did the, how did the panel go about uh, developing these guidelines? Well, um, usually we, we have a panel and we try to review all the evidence available um, so we can come to conclusions. What was new with this particular one was because of the volume of evidence that have now become available, um, we had to work with the Cochrane Collaboration Group for them to use their expertise in putting together systematic reviews which form the basis for the grid analysis that helped in making recommendations in these guidelines. So what would be the most important message that would be coming out of these guidelines for everyone to take on? Well, the most important message is that the artemisinin combination therapies remain the treatment of choice, that m use of monotherapies are dangerous, and that all cases should be diagnosed before treatment. And we were able to come to these conclusions in a scientific way because of the review, the Cochrane Review Group put together systematic reviews and they graded the evidence for us and that helped in making consensus recommendation. And I want to say that already it's an ongoing process. We already start in the process of the third edition of this document and we are identifying the key areas that require such systematic reviews. So we would again be working with the um, Cochrane Collaboration Group to help us put together this evidence in a systematic way and to help grade the evidence for the next edition of the guidelines. Thank you very much. Thank you.